climate change is affecting lives and livelihoods around the world. It is caused by excessive levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse, or GHG, gases released in the atmosphere. In the regions where the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development operates, the average carbon intensity is almost five times higher than in the European Union, and the level of energy intensity four times higher. Particularly in this part of the world, helping businesses to adopt climate-friendly technologies is part of the solution. Through its Finance and Technology Transfer Centre for Climate Change programme, the EBRD facilitates technology transfers to companies across various industries to ensure a more efficient use of resources. Under the programme, the EBRD has been working with the Food and Agriculture Organisation of the United Nations and the International Energy Agency to develop innovative tools that help governments, financing institutions and the private sector to identify technologies with the highest potential impact on climate and which are not yet popular in the market. With FAO, the EBRD is focusing on the agriculture and agribusiness sectors, two major sources of GHG emissions. Overall, the agri-food sector is estimated to account for up to a third of global GHG emissions. And if nothing is done, with the rapidly growing demand for food, in particular proteins, the agri-food sector is even expected to increase its greenhouse gas emissions. The tool that FAO and EBRD have developed helps identify technologies that have the most appealing future. It has four steps. Step one focuses on identifying, in a given country or region, the agri-food activities that are responsible for most GHG emissions. Step two is about prioritising climate technologies and practices, based on market penetration, economic and technical potential. Step three evaluates sustainability issues related to the implementation of the technology. Finally, step four focuses on identifying and addressing barriers such as unfriendly policies and knowledge gaps. By using this tool, governments can choose how to best orient their policies in support of investments in climate-friendly technologies and practices. This has already been done in Morocco, where the application of the tool sparked the interest of policymakers in exploring new incentives for greener agri-food chains. With the right support from governments and financiers alike, companies will be able to scale up investments in innovative climate technologies to ensure the long-term sustainability of their businesses.